when you're going through something, the food needs to touch you in a way that it can takes your mind away from what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? It gives you this place of uh, comfort. My favorite dessert is right here, my mom's lemon love cake. Ta-da! Pretty, didn't it? I got clean in May in 1999. Mercury was killed and died on Father's Day, not even a month later, for my deliverance of drugs. Everybody was looking at me really crazy because, hey, she ain't been clean a good month and she done lost this boy and, you know, who could blame? We, we, we couldn't even blame her if she, if she went back to drugs or whatever, whatever. And it just wasn't, that just was not going to happen. And Venus, my daughter, got sick. But when she first ran, she just had this little lump in her breast, a little lump. I feel like I was just so gullible or just so trusting that the doctor, well, something was seriously wrong with her, of course, you know. Uh, they do whatever. And so she just kept going back and forth, and it kept getting worse. Venus passed away, and I needed to tell people, I needed to say, Venus is not a statistic, she's my daughter. And this is what happened. I, I tell my story, I, you know, you, I, I, you know, I you know, see, y'all can't do nothing with Venus. But I want to tell people because I'm not the only mother. I keep, I'm not the yeah. only woman that has loved one to this. Oh, well, no one thing that I do know is that I started It's a healing process to know that even though she's gone, that I'm still doing something, you know, positive. Healing for me is a necessity, and I needed a, a space where someone could relate. If I needed it, and it was a necessity for me that other women needed it. Because we, don't, we really don't have space or time to grieve. I mean, we lose a child, we do the burial arrangements, and we go back to work. Well, when do you sit down and actually take inventory of yourself and what you need and what's going on? So with Mavis, we were opening up ourselves to families that had this loss. Just come, let's eat and, and, and share and heal. We are women that, 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 that grieve and do have hurts and pains, but we also have all this other amazing stuff that we can change situations in our communities and our lives in the world through our pain by making it something beautiful out of it. And fix your plates. I'm gonna watch you eat. That's something, that's something that I do. We'll have a room full of people. She'll stand right there and just watch people eat. We're eating two and three plates of food. <laughs> and I like that. So. It's a lot of pain in, in what happened, but when I put it into the cooking, I touch everything I cook. It turns out to be something beautiful.